Hello to all traders and welcome to this week's last market insights video provided to you by Orbex. Today is Friday the 14th of February. Happy Valentine's to everybody. We're going to talk about GBP, USD and also Euro dollar. We've seen an incredible move on the upside on the pound and uh, a sharp decline on Euro dollar on the downside, right? Pound broke above the 130 psychological resistance following the resignation of UK's uh, Chancellor Sajid Javid. That was potentially the case because there is now hope that Mr. Johnson is going to um, clear the way for some of his uh, election promises. Now on the other side, euro dollar, euro dollar's fall seems to be suggesting that the GDP numbers expected uh, today from Germany and also in the euro area are going to be disappointing, while at the same time, U.S. retail sales, a very critical report, if you may as well, because it's going to give us hints on consumer uh, sentiment is expected to come out better than expected or at least improve and on a weaker do uh, euro this is going to uh, potentially hurt the euro dollar a little bit more i want to start with the pound today right and then we'll go on the euro we talked about this potential move to the to the downside up here right a few weeks back uh we, we were looking at this as an a b and a c right i wanted to see a break below this previous uh low which is uh, the first correction down in order to respect the um, rule of a three wave correction, right? Since we got that low down here, we looked at this potentially being a bullish opportunity. We've had now waves one, two, three, four, and five potentially uh, also being taken out. I see these potentially being in a one, two, three, four, and five. So um, we could get some more upside. We have now taken the 130.50 out, right, which is the previous high as well. So I would be looking um, to see whether first prices remain above 130 because it's a very good psychological support, right, which is uh, down here, uh, or prices break above a new high. It's Friday today, so I'm expecting also end of week flows to kick in. However, do pay attention that the MACD momentum, fast momentum, is actually now declining below uh, the slow momentum, which means that we could get some sort of consolidation perhaps here, at least for the day, uh, or even break higher. Now, what I want to pay attention to in the, in the longer term, right? First, I want to look at this level over here, okay? So, even that level, if we uh, draw this trend line down here, it, it suggests that there is more upside, okay? We could literally go to 130 or even a little bit higher and still um, don't get any signals for uh, downside because although we said this is potentially a reversal level and we're going now to break above those levels, uh, we still have uh, obviously the possibility of this turning back uh, in play. That would suggest that we're going to get a bit more complex uh, correction, okay? And that would also indicate that uh, we're going to get a potential bounce up here and then start moving lower. We're going to get another move to the downside and potentially wave C would come down here, okay? And this, of course, would be a WX, a triple zigzag, potentially uh, ending uh, to fresh lows that could go down to the previous wave minor four euro dollar what happened is that the alternative that we have been talking about the one i was against for a few weeks now but now um since the break of this one this is what the invalidation as well that we'll be talking about uh we're now looking uh quite bearish right now let me go out on the eight hour chart here to make a little bit more, uh, more sense i'm looking at this as one two three four and five this is a correction right a then we had a b with an uh, irregular flat here right and i see this again as one two three four and five okay now now we've been talking about this potentially uh correcting with a w x y uh x and z the triple zigzag pattern but that didn't come in play uh we were i was uh, pretty positive that this would actually turn uh, up here uh turn right and go up to cor to correct to complete intermediate wave two uh, because this was looking quite corrective but we also talked about the possibility of this becoming a uh, smaller degree impulse to the downside and this is actually what's happened so we've got waves one two three four and five now completed okay now five can go down to 1.08 or so or actually miss it for a few pips uh, just to make sure that not many 
uh, short orders are being uh, triggered before at least there is some sort of profit taken. Although I don't see any signs on the MACD, right, for an upside, uh, naturally speaking, we could see a small correction, at least for some profit taking. And then after that, we could see prices moving lower, right, to complete wave three. Uh, this would be the 100 Fibonacci extension. This is wave one and two, right? 100 Fibonacci extension uh, is around the 107, uh, just below. Okay, so we'll go three, wave three finishing here, wave four, and then wave five, which is also the primary C of this correction, could go anywhere between the 1058 and 1.036. Now, I want to talk also about another scenario, okay, which I still don't think is going to play out, but we have... Uh, to uh, mention that opportunity as well because we see this as an impulsive move to the downside, right? Which means we're going to have five waves. Now, five waves is quite extensive when you consider uh, that wave one is quite big, is quite huge, right? This is the first wave down here, right? In the immediate wave one, all of this, which is quite big. Then you're going to get, what, a three and a five. So we have to consider an alternative. The alternative is that we have A, B, C, this is a W, okay, and then X, A, B, C, and so we've got W, X, Y down here, okay, X, and then Z, which means all that changes in this outlook is that this is becoming a 3, and this way that we are seeing as a 5 also becomes a 3, which means in this scenario that we could get an A, B, and a C here. Okay, so we could extend just to the uh, low over here that connects these um, lows, okay, which is around the 1.07, and then start moving to the upside.